Hi everyone, thanks for joining me once again, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nicole, and I'm here to share with you tonight uh, some of the Sensi empties that I have for the last four weeks. I've actually managed to get through quite a bit, and I'm quite happy about that. Um, so first off, I'll start with my non-wax items, and um, then we'll get into my wax. So first, I finished off a dish soap in evergreen and grapefruit one of the one of my favorite scents actually and in our last flash shale that we had um, a few months back they had this in there and I managed to pick up um, I think four or five of them so um, I'll be good for a while with that so I'll have it for probably the next year or two because I only like to use it for winter months um, I also managed to go through a Laundry Love bundle in Fluffy Fleas, so I finished the Laundry Liquid, the big tub of washer whips, and inside I also have uh, two of the dryer discs. And as much as I love this scent in wax, I like it even more in laundry. It's nice and strong and lasts a very, very long time. And I just found out... Um, not long before filming, I watched some videos and I believe it was Robin H. Um, went through a few things and she did a spoiler alert that Fluffy Fleece is going to be in uh, laundry in our spring and summer catalog. So you won't have to stock up on that, you'll still be able to get it. Um, I put a buddy clip into our car of the child, sent it in um, Hair of Adventure. So, very, very nice. Not one that I would typically put in for myself, but I thought I get the scent. Darren gets the, the cute little guy instead of something girly. Um, very, very proud of myself. Um, for a couple of weeks, I went steady on um, doing a bunch of diffusing. So I have 10 oils that I managed to finish up and go through. They're only the little five milliliter bottles. But nonetheless, um, I'm happy to get through them because I have a ton of them. Um, so first off, one of my favorite scents that I love to do in the winter is eucalyptus. Great one in the winter. And it really helps and calming to sleep with. Cardamom and vanilla. This one is pretty good. I, I would definitely repurchase that one. Another good one, aloe and geranium. Uh... Cherry Cherry Chamomile. This was okay. It's not a favorite, but um, I have it, so I used it. Eucalyptus Lavender Mint, another great one for the bedroom. And again, another eucalyptus. I think I had some going in the living room as well because there was a couple of, a few days where we weren't feeling well, so I just had it going everywhere. Rose Chamomile and Lavender was very very good for the bedroom as well and just because a sweet melon so very happy to get through those and I've of course slacked off again so I'm gonna have to try to stay on the routine of continuously doing some diffusing so that is it for my non wax so I'll start off with my bricks I've done a fair decent amount of damage with my bricks. First off, this Crimson Berry Christmas. I had five used up, so I managed to use up the rest of that one. Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. And I had three used up. Black Raspberry Vanilla. I had five and a half. And very very proud of myself caramel sugar cookie this one here I do not like whatsoever um, I think this is my last brick I think I originally bought two and this one here was so hard for me to get through um, I find it smells good when you first put it into the warmers and probably about three four hours after I keep getting like um, that burnt smell like burnt sugar burnt caramel or something so I just let it go for like three hours take it out refresh it put it in so very happy to be rid of that one the rest of them were great very happy with that 
Um, another brick that I did a little damage on is salted caramel toffee. All together with, I went through four, uh, yeah, four cubes. And um, today I also have a little bit of this in my kitchen mixed with a little bit of hug -a mug So this will continue to stay in my basket, I think, for the rest of the winter, and I'll try to use that one up. Um, so I think today I'm using three cubes, and the other um, five cubes I had done on its own in the kitchen uh, yesterday. So um, not a favorite scent. I'm not too big on um, chocolate scents, I guess you would say. Um, but I don't mind it. I, I only get little hints here and there when I walk through the kitchen, so it's not so bad. It's not something that I would put into like a big open concept area. So, um, for a lot of these bars, because of the room size, um, mostly in my uh, living room area, I tend to do two bars at a time. A lot of times I'll do the living room and kitchen area um, all in the same sense. So I managed to go through two bars of Be Merry. And this is very nice. Um, I haven't really paid much attention to this one before, but it is definitely a repurchase. I really, really enjoyed that scent. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, in my bedroom, the one day I did two bars of Thunderstorm. This is a nice scent. Um, as you can tell, it's an old bring back my bar packaging. I've had it for a while. Um, it's good. Um, it's not one that I would club, uh, but I would definitely get a few bars to enjoy. Um, for a while. Um, I'm not really big on bakery, but I'm finding I'm coming around to it a little bit more and more. And one that I did the other day was oats and honey. I did two bars all throughout my open concept and kitchen and thoroughly enjoyed it. So looking forward to that one. I think it's a possibility it might be coming back. So look forward to that. I got through in my bedroom two bars of Eskimo Kiss. Um, you can tell I've had these ones for a while um, because Eskimo Kiss is now called Polar Bear Hug. So I got through some of those old bars. And I, going back to bakery, I went through two of the Bring Back My Bars of Banana Nut Bread. Um, I enjoy this one for the first little bit and it's another one after probably a day it's done and it's got to come out but um very good i would definitely put this back into my club to get a few more another day in my bedroom i went through two bars of plum and light woods this is very very pretty nice kind of perfumey scent would definitely put that back into my club because i've had it in there for a little while and took it out after i started to get a stockpile and of course you know, depending on the season that it comes into, bring back my bar, you can't, to me, it's not one that you would warm in the winters or in the summer, only in the winter. So I had a bit of a um, stockpile going and to make room for other stuff, of course, it had to come out, which is a little bit disappointing, but I survived. <laughs> Um, an old discontinued bar. I went through two cranberry garlands. This is very nice. Not as strong as I remember it, but it's a very beautiful scent. I, I wish it would come back. Um, another one I did in my bedroom is two bars of Christmas cactus. And I forgot, it doesn't seem that all that strong in the clamshell, but I forgot how powerful it was. This was just wafting out of my bedroom into the open concept area. Um, this is more open concept area worthy than being in my bedroom. So I think I have two bars left of this to warm for next year. I'll be saving it. So I'll note next year to do it in my open concept area. Um, this is one that um, <clears throat> was out, I think, uh, two years ago, a year ago. Definitely two years ago for sure. And not overly huge into peppermint scents. Um, best in snow. I put this in and I 
really, really enjoyed it. I did it in my open concept and really enjoyed it. Um, that one there, I would repurchase again. And we'll bring back my bar. Another one is Rustic Lodge. Um, this was a favorite for the longest time. And um, it's a little heavy. It seems a little smoky. But on nice cold winter days, I really, really enjoy this one. Um, not a huge fan of this one. Black Forest Pine. Two bars, my open concept. To me, it doesn't smell... It doesn't scream Christmas to me, but you definitely get the deep woods, um, forest type smell, basically. Like, not just pine, not, like, like you definitely feel like as if you're out in the forest, in the woods, deep woods. So that was good. Very strong, lasting. Um, from the old, um collection of sense of the season i believe last year i went through uh two of the spiced apple chestnuts this was okay for me i actually enjoyed it a little bit more than what i thought would i purchase more if it wasn't on sale probably not if i got a good deal yes i would um what else do i have here? oh an old father's day collection perfect gentleman did this in my open concept and to me this just screams soap <laughs> um the one time i did it in my bedroom and it was way too much so i did this one out my open concept and i actually didn't mind it so much in the open concept but it was a little bit easier on the um Another one that I remember enjoying more than what I did the last time was Marshmallow Mint. Um, it just seemed a lot creamier. I would definitely reclub this and get another stockpile of that. Another old Bring Back My Bar that I enjoy that I hope comes back is Hemingway. You can see this clam is a little bit juicy. I've had it for quite some time. Nice spicy scent. Um, really, really enjoyed that one. One of my favorite bars that I was lucky to get into my club when I first started a Sensi Club. For some reason, somehow, um, this ended up being in there briefly to add, and that would be Scarlet Woods. Um, I don't know what it is about this, but I enjoy it. Um, I often just, I have my bar wall in the laundry room for, um, hang in my bars and stuff like that and I just I tend to take it off the wall open it sniff it put it back it's really hard for me to even though it's in my club it's hard for me to actually pull it and warm them um, or melt them um, just because I don't want to be without them <laughs> so um, in my bedroom I also did two bars of it's love this is a beautiful scent I wish it was a little bit stronger but very very pretty um, now I am proud of myself because I finally dove into, oh, I got another one. That's an older bar too. Um, cedar cider. This is the first time I think I've warmed cedar cider and it was just okay. I nothing to write home about for me. Very woodsy to me, but uh, I don't know, just pretty plain. Uh, I could have done without. Now I managed to finally um, start doing some of the new bars from the new 10 releases that we had into the fall and winter catalog. So I managed to do two bars of blackberry spice and I actually enjoyed this one. Um, it, it was still pretty generic, nothing special. Uh, to me, it could have been a little bit stronger, a little bit spicier, um, but it was okay. If it came back, I'd probably, um, I wouldn't club it, but if it came back next year, I would probably buy one or two more bars just to warm. Uh, Falling Apples is another one that I managed to go through. And to me, it just, it's the same as uh, Johnny Appleseed and 
I don't find there's much difference. So Johnny Appleseed is in the catalog um, as well. So um, if one or the other came back, I would stick with one or the other. But, um, I don't think I would club it. Crane Apple Crumble. I didn't really enjoy this one. It was just, it was there. I didn't want to waste the wax, so I kept it in my warmers, but it's not one for me. Um, I don't know if I would even repurchase it, to be honest. Um, if I got it in a, in a bundle or a cheap deal, okay. Um, Huckleberry Hideaway. Um, I did this in my open concept here as well. And it smells nice in the clam, but I found it too light. It could have been a little bit stronger as well. Um, I thought with maybe, because I've been, that's the one thing I've been hearing from a lot of consultants and uh, YouTubers is that they've been finding a lot of the, the newer scents really, really light. So I tried to hold off quite a few months to let them cure a little bit, but for me it didn't make a difference. It's still the same. Um, one, I think I did this one in my bedroom because I only have one bar, is black currant and plum. And it's just forgettable. I don't even remember what it was like. Um, so I don't think that would be a repurchase either. So out of all, all of the new releases so far that I've tried, um, there's only, there's only the one that seemed okay. Um, and the last one from the new releases, Velvet Moon. I'll tell you, I would never, I'd never pick this one up. I don't care if it was in the flash sale. I don't care if it was given to me. I would not warm this again. I put it into more warmers and I tried, I think I kept it in there for two hours, turned my warmers and, or off or t uh, took my dishes out. Anyway, I just removed the wax and I had to put something else in. This is a no-go for me for sure um but one um that i did like uh which i am warming today is spiced amber glow i went through a bar and a half um this is definitely a repurchase for me i do wish it was a little bit stronger but when you walk by and you get that that breeze that goes by the warmers and you smell it it just it's like, yeah, I do like this. But other than that, if you're just sitting still, you kind of, it's like you don't even know the scent's there. So I guess unless you had a fan and kept wafting it around you is how you know it's there. But um, but I think it would be a repurchase because I, I this is one that I did enjoy. So um, I do have four cubes left to um, still warm. Then, um, these ones here, I think the majority of them, because I'm down to one bars, and I've been only trying to do one bar in my bedroom to try to not go through as much wax, maybe. Um, just because the way that my room is laid out, and half the time I'm not in there anyway. So I've turned around and converted to try to only go through one bar, but I did go through one jammy time. Beautiful scent. I'm so happy. And spoiler alert, it's coming back. Um, I also went through Arctic Kiss. I think um, I still had a few cubes left of Homestead Holiday. So I think I put this into my laundry room or my bathroom. Um, I think I had like two cubes left to finish up. So I finished that one up. And I went through a bar of vanilla mint, and this is another one that I forgot how strong it was, and it was it was overpowering everything else. It, it was wafting out of my bedroom like crazy, um, but I enjoy it. I wish it would come back. Um, in my laundry room and in my bathroom, I went through a bar of windowsill breeze. In my bedroom, I did eucalyptus, and a bar of just breathe. In my laundry room and bathroom again, I also went through a bar of Be Fabulous, and unfortunately this one will not be coming back. And it is a favorite of mine, but I have probably 15 bars of it, so I think I'll be good for a while, and hopefully by the time I get to the end, 
um, if I don't hoard them, that eventually comes back in the catalog again or into a bring back my bar. Now, another single bar that I did um, from the holiday collection was Swirling Snowflakes. And I think I did this one just in my living room concept um, at the time that I was doing a change from removing my Christmas warmers um, and I went down to kind of like just a wintery type warmer before deciding on what warmers I wanted to take back out. So I went through just the one bar, but it was so pretty, but perfumey. So I think I have two bars still left of this and I think um, I'm saving them and I'll probably use them up like next year in my bedroom because it's just a beautiful scent to be honest. Um, now I have a couple of mixes here in bars. So I had a few cubes left of Christmas Cottage and I paired it up with some Eskimo Kiss that I had that I didn't use from the other previous melting with the other two bars. And this is a nice combination. I highly re recommend that one. Christmas Cottage is really, um, to me, really heavy on spice, um, like cinnamon spice. And I don't like just plain cinnamon. I like it a little bit more than just that. And the Eskimo Kiss just kind of tamed it down a little bit for me. So that was quite enjoyable. Um, I believe it was New Year's Day. Black Currant Bubbly is a beautiful scent, um, but it's one that tends to give me a headache. There's, uh, I don't know what it is in there, but I find it's, I don't know if it's too strong, too overpowering, but it tends to give me a headache. So I tried to mellow it out with Art to Kiss and it was beautiful. Um, it, it just, it went really well together. Like I could still smell um, the Black Currant Bubbly, but, <laughs> It was so toned down and like you could honestly tell the two bars like one didn't overpower the other and it, it was just beautiful it really was uh, fireside fireside chats is one that I don't enjoy um, <laughs> just even on cold sniff it, it kind of reminds me of um, chilling and grilling if anybody remembers that one from one of the summer collections, Father's Day collections or something. It just, on cold sniff, it reminds me of that. So I automatically knew I wouldn't like it. So I paired it with toasted marshmallow. And um, it got to the point all I could smell was toasted marshmallow, which was good. In the beginning, you could still get the smokiness, um, the heaviness from this. It's almost like, like a meat smell or something, like a jerky or something. But anyway... This kind of leveled it out. It was okay. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep buying this just to be able to warm um, and melt this with it. But toasted marshmallow is a lifesaver. Um, and um, a beautiful mix um, that I came across from Lisa Broberry, as everyone knows, is churro churro and apple butter frosting. This is just beautiful. And like I said, I'm not big into bakery. But this is a game changer. Like, um, they should definitely um, somehow combine these two and bring it out into a bar because I think it would fly off the wall. Um, it's that good. So, and what I have left is uh, bricks that I did not finish, but I did do some damage. So, Clean Breeze, I managed to go through another four cubes. A little bit more to go, so hopefully... Um, I'll have that finished within the month of February. Vanilla bean buttercream. I only did damage of two cubes because uh, there's half and half here and one full one down here. So uh, not too keen. There's still a little bit there. It, it's kind of like a year round scent. And same thing with sugar cookie. No big deal, but I did manage to get through um, three cubes in this one. So we'll continue warming those for sure. And as I mentioned, fluffy fleece earlier, I went through half um, a brick of this one. So that is another one hopefully that we'll finish off because I have quite a stack of that one. I went ahead and bought a bunch of bricks when they came out. So um, 
Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to touch base with that. And Johnny Appleseed. I think, actually, to be honest, I think Johnny Appleseed, I did a little bit of um, salted caramel um, toffee with that one. But anyway, I managed to go through two and a half cubes. So um, what has been in my basket that I did not be able to finish up is I originally, for my warming basket, I originally pulled out two dress briefs, so I still have one left that I think um, I am going to put into my warming basket for the month of February. And I have three bricks that have been in my warming basket um, of bricks that I had pulled back in, I think, November um, that I haven't really touched um, at all this month. And well, actually one I haven't touched at all this month, but I have touched and the other two are still untouched. Um, since I've pulled them. So Welcome Home is still the same. Blueberry Cheesecake, I still haven't even touched or damaged. And um, my Indigo Cotton, I haven't touched. And I don't think I'll probably even touch this one until I'm done with the, the Clean Breeze. Um, so yeah, so that's everything that I have so far. I do have some bars pulled for my warming basket that I think I am going to put and obviously um, from my original warming basket for the month of February I think I only pulled enough that I thought would do me two weeks but I never got around to doing my empties so a lot of them have been added in from what I pulled so this time I thought I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to pull a bunch of bars in case I get into another situation where I plan on doing a video and don't get to do it because time is just an issue around here. So anyway, that is everything. I managed to get through a lot. I think with my bricks, I'm going to, at this point, um, pull out a few more um, and put into my basket as well. Um, now that I've done some really good damage with them, so I, I'm, I'm hoping to clear a lot of that out. And um, for some sneak peeks that I've been seeing, I think we are getting a book collection for the spring summer. So looking forward to that. I love getting the books, to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of good things coming by the sounds of it. Um, a lot of things that I'm looking forward to. And um, I did do a pretty big haul with um, a, a good shopping spree. Uh, a pretty good, <laughs> that's Bella here. All right, Pop. Um, I, I did do a, a good dent in a shopping spree with the flash sale that we've had back on the 19th. I've ordered, um, I think, four out of the five uh, bar bundles. I did um, a mystery box bundle. I ordered other bars and a few other little odds and ends. Um, and I went back in again and I got a few more. Um, because I don't really like to purchase the Disney bars, I went back in and I did end up buying some of the Disney bars just to try them. Um, they were such a good deal. I thought, okay, now, now's the time because I would never pay full price for them. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, my big order has been shipped, so I'm really curious and anxious to see what I got for the, um, warmer bundle to be honest with you I'm not I don't have I have a lot of um, the the minis and I don't really tend to use them except for in my bathroom so I really didn't need any more of those and um, I thought you know for the price of what the bundle was I thought I'm just going to go for it not that I actually even need any warmers of any size but it was just such a good deal I couldn't pass it up so I've really been looking forward. There's been quite a few uh, videos that I've watched and I've seen some of the, the warmers that people have been getting. And I thought it was so cute. So I'm really anxious to see what um, surprise I get. And um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for joining me. Have a great night. Bye-bye.